Now the floor is given to Colonel Alexander Matuzianik, Ministry of Defense of Ukraine spokesperson on ATO-related issues. Good afternoon, everyone. During the first part of the day, in the anti-terror zone, the enemy adhered to cease fire along the line of confrontation. Starting afternoon, the enemy started its activity in Donetsk sector and carried out firing provocations against units of the armed forces of Ukraine, including the, with the use of mortars. The Lugansk sector, during the last 24 hours, there were no uh, ceasefire violations recorded, and the Donetsk sector, after 2 p.m., the militants delivered four precision shellings of our positions, twice, including twice um, at the positions in the region of Pavlopil. Here, the enemy delivered fire with the use of mounted grenade launchers and small arms, and also launched two mines uh, from 82 millimeter mortar. Also, the enemy delivered shelling with the use of small arms at our positions near Vodyane. Taking into account that enemy fire didn't pose direct threat to the lives of our servicemen, Ukrainian servicemen didn't respond at aggressor's provocations. At the same time, after 6 p.m., the occupants opened fire with the use of small arms at the defenders of Gnutava, but they were quickly suppressed by our units. Uh, our units used um, automated grenade launchers and large caliber machine guns. Uh, on overall, during the last 24 hours along the line of confrontation, Russian occupation forces delivered four shellings of our positions in the result of enemy shelling, no Ukrainian serviceman uh, was killed or wounded. But in the result of explosion of an unidentified explosive device in the region of Krymska, one Ukrainian serviceman was wounded. Uh, this serviceman was promptly evacuated to mobile military hospital. Now his life is no longer under threat. According to information provided by main intelligence department of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Russian officers who were appointed uh, to command positions in units and large units of illegal armed formations tried to increase battle capabilities of um, subordinated units. They uh, obliged local commanders to constantly increase the number of dura and duration of combat training, including with the intensive use of battle vehicles. This prevents the militants from proper maintaining of the maintenance of military equipment. Over the week, uh, in one of the units of so-called First Army Corps, uh, during training, um, two um, power packages uh, of tanks uh, have died down and several more vehicles uh, need uh, serious repair. And the uh, enemy reinforced attention to the use of combat vehicles and that uh, this shows that uh, they get prepared to the possible offensive actions. At the same time, uh, this disregard uh, of Russian officers to the issue of technical maintenance shows that there's probability that this equipment will be brought from Russia. And uh, at the same time, uh, in the ATO zone, servicemen of Special Operation Forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine delivered for children in Novolugansk New Year presents, uh, furniture, construction materials for repair uh, of kindergartens that was hit by enemy mine of 120 millimeter of caliber. It was a miracle that uh, um, uh, parents uh, were able to take kids from kindergarten 20 minutes before uh, the shelling started. And, um, also, uh, servicemen of special operation forces, together with the Heart to Heart Charity Foundation, have been helping to kindergarten schools uh, and other children's institutions for more than two years. Civil and military cooperation group Apasna handed over to Ukrainian servicemen uh, dried uh, soups, knitted clothes, socks, and uh, camouflage nets provided by volunteers. In Girsk Oblast Special Regular Boarding School, uh, to this institution, servicemen uh, brought uh, uh, clothes, uh, toys uh, collected uh, by uh, residents in Vesela, uh, Silnelnikova town of the uh, Dnipropetrovsk Oblast. Uh, officers of Joint Center of Civil and Military Cooperation Kramatorsk handed over to servicemen uh, 
um, sweets uh, with the, uh, from the Balu confectionery and greetings from uh, uh, children. Also, uh, offices handed over to low-income family in uh, Kramatorsk, uh, clothes, food products, toys and uh, developmental books collected by volunteers in Kamenets Podilsk. Uh, Minister of Defense, uh, General of Army of Ukraine, Stepan Paltarak, visited Ukrainian servicemen um, who undergo treatment in main military medical clinical center, main military clinical hospital. Uh, the head of defense ministry greeted the defenders of Ukraine with New Year holidays and uh, handed over uh, monetary bonuses in the amount of 10,000 grivnas. Thank you very much and happy upcoming New Year.